we just found a way. Crazy game. Um, a lot of back and forth. Ingram was phenomenal, of course. He, he hit some tough shots. Um, you know, we, we took we took a combination, a haymaker, a, 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 however you want to call it, a couple of left hooks in the jaw in the third quarter, and, and I thought in the fourth quarter we, 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 we did a better job and, and slowed them down a little, but you know, the third, third quarter they were, they were unstoppable. Kyrie played well once again, but out, outside of him, Jared Allen had a put-back dunk. Karras yeah. had a big shot. Joe. I thought Torian had a big offensive rebound. I got fouled. So we, we made winning plays. You know, but we, you know, I, I keep saying we got a long way to go. I mean, 24 turnovers. It's, 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 it's just. I'm just glad we have this little. This, this. We'll have you know two or three practice days, two days really, two practice days to kind of get in training camp mode. You know, don't tell the players that, but just, you know, just. You know, run through our offense, run through all our plays, understand what we're doing, and 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 uh, you know, we uh, definitely have some work to do. Obviously, it goes without saying you would have loved to have just closed this out in style and blown them out. But I mean, is there a value considering the way some of your other games have gone, blowing a 15, 14 point lead two days ago, um, blowing other big leads? Is there a value to actually? closing it out in the manner that you did, closing it out during clutch, nervous minutes? Hopefully, Brian. I mean, they, they, they tested us, and, and we, we did come through. Like I said, we made, we made a lot of winning plays. I will say this, and we all know this, with the three-point shot, you know, the, the 15 points that in today's NBA is like nothing. Like, you don't feel comfortable, you know. You, the, and the pace that the game's played at, the three-point shot, it's, it's, it, it, there's no lead that you feel really comfortable. Um, you know, uh, that, you know, that being said, I, I think they shot 48% from mid-range, you know. Uh, they, they hit some tough, tough shots. I thought, thought, you know, we had a little bad luck on, on some of those. I thought we played good defense, that they made shots. Kenny, in the in the third quarter, they scored 48 points. They hit eight three pointers during that stretch, during that that 44 26 stretch, and had two three point other three point possessions. Uh, w what do you have to do there to kind of get a handle on on the three point shooting? Yeah, I mean we'll look at it and put put put. Greg, I think it's more we're having these, you know, we'll play good for three quarters of the game. We're just having these quarters or, or take, a, take a section of a quarter where we just kind of implode and, and, and somehow find it a way to uh, uh, limit those, those, ba those, those uh, bad stretches. There's not a ton of them, but in this league, you have a, you know, a, quarter, a bad quarter, a bad eight minutes. It can, it can really bite you, and, and we could not slow them down. Um, I... Do you think what happens too? You know, I don't know. I, I got to look at the tape, but we missed a ton of open shots. You know, I can I can just see us where the ball's coming off. Now you're in transition defense, uh, so the threes came out of transition defense. I think the threes came out of offensive rebounds. Uh, um, you know, scramble situations where you're where you're not matched up. I felt like when we got our defense set, we we were okay, but we weren't in that situation a lot in the third quarter. And you know, I have to look at those situations. I thought they were scramble situations. I, you know, we were in a particular defense. You know, to, for, to not have Reddick touch the ball. Now, doing that and, and executing it, as we saw in the playoffs, are two different things. He's a master. So, um, again, th these are things we have to clean up with this. You know, with our with our group. Uh, but like I said, the positive is we really. You know, Kyrie was fantastic at the end. I thought what he did great. You know, they just did, and this is going to happen. They just start doubling him. And I thought he got rid of it, you know, throw it, threw it to Joe. He penetrated the four guys around him to fire the dart out. And he's really doing a great job of, uh, of making the right play when, when there's tremendous pressure on him. You mentioned how well they shot in the, in the mid-range, especially Ingram, where he did most of his damage. Is that kind of almost a tougher shot to defend for some guys nowadays because it isn't as relied on as much and uh, 
you know, people say, don't, you know, shoot three layups, and here's a guy who's shooting that shot, and just, is it... I thought we defended it well. That's the fun. Like, I don't think there were, there were a couple that were wide open, but I, I you know, my, my recollection is that those mid-ranges, those mid-range shots were contested really well. So that that's the frustrating thing about it. We, we you know, we have a certain style we play, and, 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 and we trust, we do trust the numbers. Um, I think Ingram was 12 for 18 from mid-range or something. That's, that's a heck of a, a heck of a job by him. Sometimes you got to shake the other guy's hand and say, you know, great job. I, I thought we kept him off the free throw line, did a decent job there. Uh, listen, we're not giving a, a, a ton of attempts. That team usually shoots 45, you know, threes a game, so I don't think their attempts were that high. So I, I, I'm glad we, we brought their attempt uh, uh, ratio down. Uh, Coach, with the exception of Garrett, uh, everyone who played significant minutes for you had two, three, maybe four turnovers. Um, what is the process by which you start cutting those down? Man, we are going to look at it. We're going to talk about it. We're, we're going to get our spacing right. My, my, my gut is it's happening a lot in scramble situations. So when you run a play, you know, two down or whatever it is, and you run it, and, you know, they take it away. Now it's that next phase. How do you play when, when, when they, you know, take your initial action away or that initial play down? I, it's, it's not really on the uh, initial play call. I do think sometimes we're playing too fast. Like, it's like, we need to find a better, um, um, you know, we need to do a better job of changing speeds a little better. I think we're, we're rushing in, in, into uh, uh, a lot of mistakes. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody.